Yeah. Now, can we go to the magnetic pulse generator? That's the Wait. third step. Uh, or, or is it too soon? No, no. All right, no, that's no. the third step of the four-step protocol for the whole portable hospital. Now, this magnetic pulse generator, to me, is an amazing, amazing, witty invention that God's given us. Yes, it comes in this little box here that, uh, that plugs in into the power line. Um, it's um, got a very large, somewhat heavy coil in it, but that coil um, it gets briefly energized when pressing this small red button here. Um, and once it's uh, energized, it creates a very powerful magnetic field. Now, magnetic fields are kind of strange because you and I, we cannot actually feel that directly. Some people are very sensitive and they can feel a little something. But um, our, uh, elect uh, our chemical processes, our cells, our bodies, in a, in, a, in a very somewhat indirect way, feel it. We don't feel it with our nervous system. And the best way I can illustrate um, what, how this uh, magnetic pulse generator works is I have a pile of paper clips here on the table um, and they feel that magnetic field. On the count of three here, I'm going to press this button and we'll see what happens to these paper clips. One, two, three. You can see how the paper clips go bouncing around because they feel that powerful magnetic field. There we go, they just, they just go bouncing all over the table here. Um, and uh, they, they feel that uh, magnetic field, but uh, you and I don't feel it directly. However, any bacteria, virus, or fungi that should be in the vicinity of that, for example, if I have a sore throat, um, I can use that on my throat here. Um, and, uh, and, uh, you can, uh, and I won't feel anything, but uh, you have to get it right up against the throat. Um, it, it gradually does assist with the healing process. Now, it takes a few minutes for, uh, for the magnetic field to do its work, usually between five and 15 minutes. Um, as another example of somebody with a toe, by the way, um, I had uh, a gentleman who bought the last show unit at a show, and uh, he, ca he came back the following year, and he said, boy, I'm so glad I got your last unit, um, because the following day, uh, I dropped something on my toe, uh, and, and my toe started to turn blue. And, and, I, and he, th he th thought he might have to go to the hospital, so he immediately used the MPG on his toe, you know, just like I'm using on my thumb here. Um, and, um, uh, and he said that the day after that, instead of being blue and discolored and all of that, it looked like nothing had happened. It was just totally healed up, and he was just absolutely delighted and amazed. I myself have used the magnetic pulse generator on my shoulders and my neck and my jaw because in a car accident I'd gotten TMJ, which is, means that the muscles all tightened up. And so the magnetic pulse generator um, reduced the pain, which caused the muscles to relax which caused the pain to start going away. And I did that for, uh, for uh, a, f a few days, uh, a few weeks, and, and, uh, and uh, the TMJ, which is very difficult to get rid of because the pain just keeps building on itself, was just totally gone and stayed away. Wow. So I thank God for these devices, these witty inventions. That's right, that's what God calls them. Now, this is the device I was telling uh, the, everyone about on, on Wayne Twilliger. He had uh, pulled a muscle from his neck to his shoulder in the plane crash. And so he would use it on his neck, and he used it 14 times, I think he said, mm -hmm. and he could, he could just feel the pain going completely away, yes. which he lives with that pain, or lived with that pain almost continually. So one thing I want to point out here is that uh, our bodies are full of lymph nodes, right? Lymph and nodes. Lymph, yes. lymph nodes, and, yeah, they, nodes. and so they start right up underneath your chin here, like uh, our brother was showing us. And then they go right down the front so you, and underneath your armpit. Mm -hmm. And down the back and, and the yeah, abdomen. Yeah. Underneath the armpit. You need to fire this button. You can see each time, if the camera can see this button here, when I push it, you'll see it flash. Okay, you need to, I've learned that you count to like seven. Five one, to seven. Five, yeah. one, two, three, four, five, yeah. and you punch it again. Yeah. So you do it under here five times. One, two, three, four, five, then fire Move it again. around a little bit. Yeah, just, yeah just, okay. Just, just, just move it because the active area of this, uh, magnetic fields don't travel real well, so the active area is only a few inches. For example, you'll notice here um, that if I hold the MPG way up here relative to these paper clips, um, that uh, when I fire at one, two, three, and nothing happens. If I move it down to here, uh, one, two, three, uh, they move just a tiny bit, but if I move it a little bit closer, um, 
they, they move a lot, and if I move it a little closer yet, they just go flying all over the place. So it's very important to move it around the area. For example, if I had a tennis elbow, and I did have tennis elbow when I fell funny uh, once uh, while skiing, um, I'd move it just all around the elbow um, and getting at the, at the spot from all the different angles. And I've noticed that it definitely got rid of the pain and it helped heal it. Uh, much more quickly. Or if there's a cracked bone or something, uh, people have experimented with that. In fact, it's, uh, it's one of the secret weapons of race horses and horse medicine is using magnetic uh, pulses to speed the healing of bones. So it is being used that way in veterinary medicine as well. All right, now the thing that this does to the lymph nodes, is it? Nodes. Nodes, yes. lymph nodes. Yes. I'm not a doctor. Uh, the, is it, Neither uh, am I. The, it, I understand that it, uh, it causes the parasites, the pathogens, the viruses, the, the germs, whatever is lodged in these lymph nodes all down through our body and around in our stomach area and our back area and even down behind our knees. Those are lymph nodes. Okay, uh -huh. now what it does is it, it like, uh, well, it shocks them. Can you imagine being one of those little viruses and having that? Wow. The closer you get, the more yep, effective yep, it is. Yep. Those little uh, those little boogers get blasted out of there, so now they're caught up. I guess the way I've, I, I interpret what I've heard from these scientists is that it, it stuns them, and they release, and now they're caught up in the bloodstream, and they're uh -huh. flowing through the bloodstream, and they're going along, and all of a sudden, where's that uh, blood purifier? Let me have the, just the, the uh, no, no, well, the, the wires. Anyway, you've got it hooked to your wrist, just like this, by the way, you never did tell him why you soaked that in water. But anyway, you hook to the wrist in the way he did it, either way you want to do it. And what happened? You need to make sure they're parallel. Yes, parallel to one another. Right. Okay. Praise God. Okay. And what was my point? Oh, so you've, you've done the magnetic pulse generator first mm -hmm. all throughout your lymph nodes, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And, and now you've got this on. And, and here they come, they're dazed, floating along to your bloodstream, and it takes about an hour, yes. right, for them to get completely around to your whole body. And uh, so they, they'll get caught in a crossfire. Yes. And now the, way, the best way to explain it is they become sterilized. These pathogens, right. viruses, fungi, uh, bacteria, germs, yeah. bacteria, yeah. whatever it is, now they're sterilized, which means they don't reproduce. Okay, mm -hmm. so now they want out of the system. They want out of your body, isn't that right? That's get me right. out of here, oh please right. get me out of here. So anyway, they start crying out for mercy. And that's when uh, it, it, it'll just start coming. You'll have to go to the bathroom a lot more. That's right. And uh, it'll come out your pores of your skin or any way right. they can get out. Any way they can get out. Get out. Yeah. And, and people notice uh, one of the things is while doing the blood electrification, of course, you do want to be drinking a lot of water so that it can flush out. Uh, there may be changes in bowel habits. Sometimes people will break out uh, on their skin for, for, for a couple days. Uh, you know, any which way they get out, uh, they, they can and, and, and will because the body's detoxifying. Now, that actually brings...